arrive here about six o'clock in the morning and then we uh, they get they arrive here at about 7 30 the guys to start their work by that time everything's unloaded and off the trailer so we can get going <music> Tomorrow I've got some more sand coming. I actually found a guy in town today who can bring you river sand. Now the river sand costed me 50 rand per load and that I used for the uh, for the foundations. Yeah, so I used the river sand, of course stone and cement and that, that went into the foundations. Tomorrow I've got a truckload, 18 cubic meters of building sand coming and that's more for the plaster work and also probably for the brickwork. You cannot use the river sand for plastering. Why I say is because the river sand has got what we call here in South Africa black wattle seeds. What happens with those seeds? The moment that wall gets moisture, let's say you, you, you plaster the wall or render the wall in the winter and you go through summer, the following winter you're going to start having problems because the black wattle seeds will actually start to sprout in the wall and all your plaster will pop off. That's what's happened at the farm. The house that I'm staying in the farm, they plastered it or rendered it with um, river sand and it looks like someone took a shotgun and blasted the whole wall full of, you know, little holes like that. And I've plastered over it and filled all the holes, painted it out nicely, but the following season, winter comes and it just pops out again. So that's something to be careful of if you're using river sand. I don't know, in your area you'll have to check as to what seeds there are in there. And although you sift the river sand, the black wattle seeds are just too fine, you can't go through them all. But it's fine for brickwork, you know, when you're laying brick on brick and bonding bricks together, concrete foundations, no problem at all. Okay, now I drew up a budget for the whole job. But the one thing I didn't take into account was the filling. I didn't realize we would need so much filling. And it's costing me a fortune. I'm paying the one guy with a bucky load at a time. I've ran the other guy I'm paying about two rand. So it's really costing. quite a busy day what happens is that the guys finish off on a Friday half day so that will be quite nice I can get other things done on the farm that need to get done anyway guys for this vlog I'm gonna say take it easy see you next time round with the way things are going at the moment. Um, yeah. What do you think? Unfortunately, oh, is he? Okay, I'm still going to try to show you <laughs> the interview too. There we go. Okay, so hello to everybody. Hello.